today we're going to learn about how God's plan is best. But as Jesus' ministry began, he started calling men to be his disciples, to be with him and learn from him all the time. And one person that he called to be a disciple was Peter. Let's talk to Peter and learn about how his life changed the day he met Jesus. Hello, my name is Peter, and I met Jesus on the shore of a sea. One day, I was on the edge of the shore with my boat, washing my fishing net. My brother and I had gone through a difficult night of fishing on the sea. We worked hard all night and didn't catch anything. Peter and his brother didn't fish with poles, but with nets. They let their net down into the water. They put it down in the water and wait for all the fish to swim in it, and then they would pull the net back into the boat full of fish. But that night, they hadn't caught anything. Well, while we were washing our nets, we saw Jesus come to the shore, and a group of people gathered around him to hear him talk about God's plan. People often gathered around Jesus. Jesus saw us with our boats, and he got into my boat. Wow, Jesus got into your boat? Let's read from Luke 5, 1 through 3. If you have your Bible, you can open it and read along with me. We're in Luke 5. On one occasion, while the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Gennesaret. And he saw two boats by the lake, but the fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, which was Peter's, he asked him to put out a little from land, and he sat down and taught the people from the boat. That's right. Jesus told me to move the boat away from the shore a bit so he could continue to teach the people on the shore. After Jesus finished speaking to the people, he told me to go out into deep waters and let my nets down to catch fish. Wait, didn't Jesus already know that you'd been fishing all night long and hadn't caught anything? At first, I didn't want to do what Jesus said. I didn't think it made any sense to let our nets down again. We had tried all night and caught nothing. But Jesus' plan is best, and I did what he said. Let's keep reading in Luke 5 to find out what happens next. This is from verse 5. And Peter answered, Master, we toiled all night and took nothing. But at your word, I will let down the nets. And when they had done this, they enclosed a large number of fish, and their nets were breaking. After I saw all the fish, I fell to my knees before Jesus. I said, Go away from me, Lord. I am a sinful man. Because of this miracle, I realized that Jesus is God. Jesus saw me and provided for me by sending lots and lots of fish. I knelt in front of him because I knew that I had done wrong in my life. I didn't feel like I deserved what Jesus did for me. What an amazing story. Let's keep reading in Luke to find out what Jesus did next. In verse 10, it says, Jesus said to Peter, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. And when they had brought their boats to land, they left everything and followed him. Wow, you left everything? Yes, our lives changed completely that day. We left our nets behind and followed Jesus to fish for people instead of fishing for fish. <laughs> what? What does that even mean? You started fishing for men? Jesus meant that I would help bring others to see that God's plan is best, so they could have a relationship with him. I was an ordinary fisherman. Out of all the people Jesus could have chosen to follow him and be one of his close friends, he chose me. That is such an amazing story. Do you know what's great? Jesus chooses us to be part of the big God story, too. His plan is so much bigger and better than we can even imagine because his plan is best. We can follow Jesus and invite others to follow him too.